in my side of the mountain, an English professor named Bando calls Sam Thoreau. Bando is referring to Henry David Thoreau, a writer, philosopher, land surveyor, and pencil maker from Concord, Massachusetts. On July 4th, 1845, Thoreau moved into a cabin he had built on land owned by a friend. The cabin was in a wooded area near Walden Pond, and Thoreau lived there for two years, two months, and two days. He eventually wrote about his time there in a book titled Walden, or Life in the Woods. Here is how Thoreau summed up his purpose. He wrote, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. Thoreau wrote about self-reliance, the pleasures of solitude, and the details of the pond and woods at all times of the year. He also criticized the ways in which we allowed ourselves to be distracted by the daily news, the latest fashions in clothing and thought, and the insignificant details of our common lives. Simplify, simplify, Thoreau urges his readers, for our lives are frittered away by detail. Walden has inspired generations of Americans to dream of fleeing their cluttered lives for the imagined simplicity of a life lived largely in solitude. Years before reading Walden, I too dreamed of living in a cabin in the woods far from anyone else. My uncle did build a cabin on land in the mountains of northern Colorado. I suspect that many people moved to Montana and other western states in large part because they imagined living a simpler, quieter life, close to nature and far from big cities. But Thoreau was not fleeing a noisy city or trying to leave his troubles behind. He had extra dishes for visitors, and he often walked into town to visit friends. Each day of the spring and summer, he worked in his bean field and spent much of his time sauntering through the woods, where he paid careful attention to the local plants, animals, and geology. He was on a journey that was primarily inward and spiritual rather than outward. Thoreau never intended to live out the rest of his days in the woods by Walden Pond. I left the woods for as good a reason as I went there, he wrote. Perhaps it seemed to me that I had several more lives to live and could not spare any more time for that one. Thoreau figured that the universe is wider than our views of it, and he had other places to investigate.